Well, I think many of us are interested in kissing from an early age, but I write for uh, Discover Magazine, so I'm often covering timely topics like why leaves change color in the autumn or how beer affects your brain around St. Patrick's Day. And so I did a piece a few years ago on the science of kissing around Valentine's Day, and it just took off. The emails poured in. Very soon, scientists themselves were calling me to find out what I was learning. And an event was organized by the American Association for the Advancement of Science in Washington, DC, specifically on this topic. And it just never stopped. I kept getting more and more questions. And soon it seemed like an obvious topic with broad appeal because it's a near universal human behavior. So why not look at it from a variety of lenses? Well, in one chapter, I got a very brave neuroscientist from New York University to sign on to allow me to work with his lab to conduct a neuroscience experiment on how the brain responds to watching two people kissing. Now, of course, we couldn't put two people in, it's called an MEG machine, uh, and have them kiss, but we could show volunteers different images of couples kissing. So some might look more erotic, some might look uh, a lot more friendly, and couples could be of different genders and different matches. And the machine measures the uh, magnetic current in volunteers' brains. And so I expected that men would have a much stronger response to more visually erotic photos, whereas women might not show that. But what we found was entirely different, extremely surprising, and I shouldn't really go into because it's one of my favorite parts of the book, and we're also going to be publishing the research soon but it's something I'm really looking forward to sharing. One of the biggest misconceptions, which was also one of the funniest aspects of writing the book for me, came when I spoke to an evolutionary psychologist at the University of New York at Albany. And Dr. Gordon Gallup was looking at preferences between genders um, and you know, surveyed thousands of undergraduates, as it turned out. But it ended up correlating across much, much broader audiences um, that men and women view kissing very differently. So men tend to see it as a means to an end, so maybe they're swapping saliva to swap other bodily fluids later, whereas women try to extricate the significance of their relationship based on a single kiss. And often that leads to a lot of miscommunication and uh, extraordinarily funny anecdotes, which uh, I do explore a little more in the book.